Hey everybody, it's Fem Trooper, and today I'm going to be talking about the origin stories of how I got all of my consoles. So I'm going to be talking today about how I got all of my consoles, consoles, portable, everything, um, and I'm going to start from all the way back to the first console to the most recent, so let's just start this off. The first console, I'm not actually 100% sure which one it was. It's iffy, it could have been the Super Nintendo or it could have been the Game Gear, and I'm not 100% sure. So we're just going to start with the Game Gear because that's just awful, so let's get it out of the way. It would have probably been 1994. I don't really remember getting it. I only remember getting it because my mom, because my mom wanted to always get me the best stuff, got me the Game Gear instead of a Game Boy because it was in color. So to her, it was probably the better system. This was a more expensive system, so it was better. But in actual reality, the Game Boy was a better system. <laughs> it had better games, it was Nintendo, blah, blah, blah. And the Game Gear took like six or eight batteries. It was just awful. But uh, I did and still own a Game Gear. My Super Nintendo was uh, purchased the same year, 1994. I always thought it was 93, but it's it's 1994, um, which is actually kind of late for the Super Nintendo, but I was five years old, so whatever. Um, and all I remember is opening the very front closet where the front door was, and there was a huge box uh, very close to the size of me. I remember it being just a ginormous box, and this had nothing to do with my birthday or Christmas. I think my parents just bought it for me. Uh, I, I would have remembered if it was Christmas, and we used to film opening Christmas presents? I don't know. Anyway, and it's not in any of those, so I'm pretty sure I just found it one day, and my parents were like, yeah, we bought you the Super Nintendo, and that was the first time I truly remember playing video games, so it may, may, it may have been the very first console, and then I got the Game Gear, I don't remember, but, uh, yeah, I remember setting up the Super Nintendo for the very first time, and I'm pretty sure F-Zero was the very first game I ever played. The next console I got was in 1997 for Christmas, and it was the Nintendo 64. And although my reaction wasn't quite like the N64 kid who freaks out on YouTube, uh, it was a pretty big deal. I remember asking that was my Santa present, and because uh, every year I got a Santa gift, even when I stopped believing, and. Uh, the Santa present was a big gift. You always got like a big present. It was never just like a CD or a game. It was always like a big deal. So I asked for a brand new console and uh, I remember getting the N64. It um, was right there, right beside the fireplace. Uh, all, my Santa, all my Santa gifts were, they were never wrapped. So kind of walked down the stairs. There it is, the Nintendo 64 1997 Christmas was awesome. The next one was in 1998. So the next Christmas after that and I got the Game Boy color, the see-through one, the purple one, and I got Pokemon Blue with it, and that was another fabulous Christmas, because again, it was my Santa gift, I asked for a Game Boy Color, um, got Pokemon Blue with it, and that's all I remember doing that Christmas, and for the next probably four or five months. The next console is now, um, a little ways away, we're now in 2003, and, uh, the next few years after this, this 2003, almost... 2012 are bad um, just because I went through a weird teenage phase. So in 2003, uh, I wanted a PlayStation 2, mainly because of Final Fantasy X. There were commercials on TV. I thought it looked like friggin' awesome. I rented a GameCube because I, even back then I was still like a Nintendo fangirl and I don't know, I wasn't feeling it because I knew that Nintendo wasn't going to have Final Fantasy games on it. And this was when I'd never played Final Fantasy games before. I really wanted to play Final Fantasy, and the only way I could do that was on a PlayStation 2. So I ended up buying a PlayStation 2 with my very own money. I remember going to Walmart with my dad, and I literally dumped like pennies and Ziploc bags full of coin, and I think I bought it for $300. Uh, which was probably really painful for the cashier. I think most of it was in bills um, based on doing chores and all sorts of things, but I did have a lot of coin. I remember that bringing in like a bag of like coin, like, like nickels and quarters and probably from doing anything, um, selling stuff, whatever. Um, I sold my N64 to get the PlayStation 2, so that was a big chunk of the money. I sold it on Bargain Finder back before, um, you know, all the online things like Craigslist and Kijiji existed. So <laughs> that was dumb. I've since purchased a Nintendo 64, but I won't count that um, 
because it was kind of just a rebuy. But yeah, I bought a PlayStation 2 with my very own money. That was very exciting. And that was around February 2003, I think just before my 14th birthday, uh, because I got Kingdom Hearts for my birthday. So that's all I remember. Next, we're in 2006, which is probably the next couple consoles from now on are shitty in terms of the way I was using them. Um, the next one is Game Boy Advance, because literally uh, on my break at work, I decided... I want to go buy a Game Boy Advance and play Pokemon Emerald and I literally just walked to EB Games on my break and just bought um, a bundle that was a Game Boy Advance uh, SP, it was a, I have a blue one, with Pokemon Emerald, which was, I don't remember it being that expensive, but I thought, screw it, I really want to play Pokemon, I haven't played a Pokemon game, you know, back since 19... Or maybe 2000-ish, back since Pokemon Gold and Silver. Um, and I was just really excited. So um, at that point, I would have probably been... It was probably summer. So it was that summer of going into grade 12, I think. And I just, random, just went and bought it. The next console is the PlayStation 3. So a big one. And I bought it in 2007 on the very last day of grade 12. So I literally graduated high school and just went and bought a PlayStation 3. I remember that. Um... I don't know, I just thought, no, I'm buying it on the very last day of school, and it was awesome, and I was just so thrilled, and I remember that being a huge pain because this was the first console I'd ever owned that required an HDMI cable, and at the time, the only person who had an HDTV was my dad, so I could only play it at my dad's house at the moment. I know I think you could play it with AV cables or whatever, but it was just, I wanted to only play it H HD, and um, I... Uh, yeah, I, I just remember that was kind of a pain and we bought a, I think we bought a HDMI cord for like really expensive, it was like 80 bucks or something, so dumb, like I don't know what we were thinking, but this is also 10 years ago and <laughs> um, it was just like a huge deal, I remember being like, whoa, like, and I was, I was so excited, like PlayStation 3 was a huge deal, it was so much better than the uh, PlayStation 2, just looked really amazing and yeah, it was just a, it was a very good day, uh, a very good end um, to high school. <laughs> next up, uh, actually, I think the next few are in 2007. So 2007 was a big year for consoles. Uh, I got a Nintendo DS, and I don't remember specifically when, but I'm pretty sure it was 2007. And it was kind of just a bunch of people at work were buying them. It seemed like a really trendy thing, and I was kind of getting back into gaming. Um, keep in mind that for some reason, like, I'm really... a well, I mean, I'm not hardcore. I don't play like 50 games a year or something, but I'm I'm a gamer, obviously. And I don't know, my teenage years were pretty AAA shitty. So like PS3, like, you know, back when I first got it, I was only playing games like Grand Theft Auto and it was just awful. And like, just, I don't know, I was not playing. There were so many games that I missed on that era and on the PlayStation 2. Because um, again, it was just, I don't know, just kind of renting games and not taking it seriously, not that you're supposed to take it seriously, I just feel like I take it more seriously now and play different games that I'm more into, but yeah, I don't know, I just got a DS, and the DS was a huge deal, and I remember everyone had it, my mom bought a DS too, she had uh, played it for like Sudoku and Brain Age and stuff, but I remember DS was a big deal. Then, uh, probably right after that, uh, in 2007, uh, I remember getting a Wii, we got a Wii, um, back when they were really hard to get because I remember we finally got a store to put one on hold and we actually managed to get one because I remember nobody could get a Wii that year. Um, I believe they came out in 2006 but I think they were just getting so popular that Christmas of 2007 Wiis were just like it was that that Wii Christmas uh, where you just could not find them and um, I just remember getting a Wii. There's no interesting story around it but we got a Wii that year. Now we are in 2012 and uh, I am starting this channel, and um, I believe I started this channel without without um, a 3DS. I bought a 3DS during this channel, which is really weird because that sounds so old now. Because um, I believe I started, I only had the DS. So I bought a 3DS off Kijiji. Um, a girl was selling it, and I believe she sold it with Super Mario 3D Land. I don't remember if it came with anything else. But uh, I remember going to pick it up and 
that was really exciting because um, the 3DS and, you know, just a new Mario game and all this, I was really excited. And especially that I just started a video game channel, I was even more excited to get it. Next, we have the Wii U, which I bought on day one. And because of the channel, I was really excited to get it because I was going to do a pickups video and I was going to do um, a video where I unboxed it, which I have, which is on my channel. And uh, I remember it being so exciting. We drove to Best Buy to buy it and toys no toys are us to buy it and best buy to get super mario um 3d no was it 3d world i think so anyway whatever i remember buying it and it was really exciting because i was like whoa like the gamepad i was getting really hyped because now it was like you know i was really on top of video game stuff uh, 2012 i was getting really really into it the next one would be the vita uh, 2013 April-ish, uh, I remember again, another, a great deal on Kijiji, I think came with three games, and I think I was wanting to play it mostly because, I wanted to own one because of Persona 4, and I thought, that looks like a game I want, uh, I'm going to get a Vita, and sure enough, great deal on Kijiji, um, I remember not being that far away, and we just picked it up, and I love the Vita, so I'm so glad that I uh, bought that, and again, this was starting to get more into video games. I, I'm not saying that because I wasn't into video games. I've been into video games since I was five. I think it's just I was really starting to take the whole video game thing in my channel really seriously instead of just like being, I was serious when I was a kid and a teenage, as a teenager it was really casual and now I feel like I'm more serious again. I don't know. I was just like really into RPGs and like really cool fun stuff as a kid constantly gaming and then as a teenager I don't know, it was just all derpy and screwed up, so, uh, I don't know, I, I just, I wasn't really playing the PlayStation 2 that much, so I'm really glad, um, yeah, that I'm, I don't know, that, that went away. <laughs> the next console isn't one that I bought, but I'm just gonna, it's one of the consoles I own, and it's the Xbox 360, and I didn't buy it, it's, um, uh, my boyfriend's, but... I got it when I moved out, um, which would have been the end of 2013. So there's no interesting story with that, but I'll mention it. Next up is 2014. We are in October at this point, and that is the Xbox One. And I was in Vegas at the time <laughs> um, with my friend Kat, and we were at a food court in the Excalibur, like eating lunch or something. And then I got like a Facebook message from my boyfriend saying he just went and bought an Xbox One. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess we have an Xbox One now. The next and final, I believe, I don't think I've left anything out, geez, um, is the PlayStation 4. And that I bought last year in about March, so 2016. And again, I bought it because I knew Uncharted 4 was coming out. I was really excited and there was a good deal. So I kind of just bought it without any games. It came with the Uncharted... Um, the, the bundle or whatever where you got the first three games uh, remastered. I didn't care about that. I just wanted Uncharted 4. So I had to wait because I don't, I don't think... Uncharted 4 came out in like summer-ish. So I, it kind of just sat for like three months. But I got a good deal. So I figured, eh, I don't mind it sitting if I pay less. Whoa, okay. So those are all my consoles. Um, I don't believe I've... I mean, yeah, I have a 3DS XL. I'm not gonna, like, I don't care about that kind of stuff. But in terms of all my consoles, that's how I got all of my consoles. So there's a quick, quick little story. Some more interesting than others. Some really boring. Um, but I uh, just wanted to share how each console came to be and sort of the progression. It's interesting to see how you go from being a little kid, getting things from Santa to just buying them on your own. Um... And buying a console as a teenager was a huge deal because it was like my own money. I saved up really hard and like spending $400 on a console when you're like 14 or 15 is a lot of money. And then now just being an asshole and going buying consoles day one. So there's that. Um, but yeah, the next console will be geez in a few weeks and that'll be the Nintendo Switch. And you bet I'm going to be talking about it. So those are all the stories of how I got all my consoles. And uh, curious if you guys have any interesting console origin stories or pickup stories. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.